and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. On today's episode, we are going to talk about something a little different. We talk about the portal quite a bit on this podcast, and I am sure that as teachers, your coaches also recommend accessing all the information on there. It really is a great resource with a mountain of videos, documents, and other things to help inform and guide your teaching. With so much content having been created in the few short years since its release, a problem arises. Just like if you own a lot of stuff, it can be hard to remember how much you have and where it all is. The portal is similar. There is so much that you might have forgotten some of it even existed, if you knew it existed in the first place. In this episode, I will talk about a few of those underrated and undervalued resources, all which can be found in the digital content section. For this, I reached out to some friends of the show for their opinions on this as well. So get ready for some crowdsourced set of resources, what they are and where you can find them. Let's get started. Number one, Guide to Grapeseed's Question Design. This is labeled as GS Questions Design and can be found in the General tab. As coaches, we probably get the most questions about questions themselves. What do I do if my students can't answer? What if the questions are too easy? What if they don't answer correctly? Why do we ask this particular question? Questions like these come up often and to help with understanding, this document is available to read on the portal. In the most recent This and That with Miklos about the language arts elements in our program, he talked about the end goal of writers not to be a completed and perfectly correct series of worksheets, but rather the act and the process of writing with confidence and solidifying knowledge is the main objective. In short, it is not a pass or fail test. It is more about the process of writing than what is on the page. Grapeseed question design is similar, and this document starts off by talking a lot about that. The big objective is getting students to think in English and practice speaking using the language they know, not necessarily to get an answer perfectly correct. This is a valuable thing to remember and something I know I have been guilty of when I taught. I am typically a very results-driven person, but for question time, the value is in the process of students listening, forming their own response, and having the confidence and desire to communicate it. Of course, we would ideally want them to say whatever they are saying correctly, but if they don't, it doesn't mean they have failed or you have failed as their teacher. Like always, model, recast, or support them however you can, and you'll ask another question later in the lesson or the next time. This resource also goes into some language acquisition theory, really getting into the different stages that English learners interact with a language, like the receptive, productive, and interactive stages, as well as an explanation of Bloom's taxonomy and how it applies to grapeseed. Naturally, concepts like the affective filter and the spiral curriculum are brought up too. It ends with the frequently asked questions section with some of the questions I brought up earlier, like what to do if questions seem too easy or hard. This is a great resource for everyone, but I would say especially so for teachers who have been teaching for a few months and now have the basics and flow of teaching grapeseed down. That is a perfect time to step back into the theory of grapeseed and then applying that whole philosophy to your classes. It can also be helpful for many year veterans to remind themselves of what grapeseed is at its core because we can all fall into the trap of slowly moving away from the core philosophy over time. Number two, addressing classroom management, labeled classroom management guide and can be found in the general tab. Besides questions about questions, coaches probably are asked about classroom management the most. How can I get students to listen? What should my rules and expectations be? Why can't they just sit still? I'm not sure anyone in the history of man has ever found a reliable solution to that last one. Any discussions about classroom management should primarily start between teachers and their school. Traveling around to many grapeseed classrooms around the world, I've seen many different school rules and philosophies over a broad spectrum of lenient to strict, so any management decisions a grapeseed teacher makes first need to align to their school. If they are the same or similar, then the rules and expectations of the grapeseed classroom are easily understood and can be followed very early. That being said, grapeseed does provide guidance for effective classroom management. Your coaches are available. Podcast 41 that we did way back on it is one of our most listened to episodes, and there are a couple great videos, one on the basics in grapeseed essentials and another more advanced video in the Master Teacher series. 
There is also a very helpful document available on the portal, however, with a ton of ideas and things to consider for a teacher starting out or even a veteran teacher who is just fresh out of tricks. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.